We've just been given a clearance for the approach. And the captain has uh, decided to arm the approach. Now, as we reach the initial approach fix, the aircraft will make the turn. We're using VS to bring us to the 3,000 required by the plate. When the needle snaps, we're going down to 2,500 to Sheila. Wait for the needle to snap. Yep, there you go. And now we'll continue on down. We have the power set at uh, 525-ish, 550-ish. That'll get us 130 knots in this airplane in clean level flight which is our fondest wish. After we cross Sheila, we're down to 2100. And we hold that until Wonan, the final approach course. Uh, correction, the final approach fix. Needle is centered. We're still in the terminal mode. Clear air turbulence there. Pretty smooth nights. Any bump is noticeable. As the nose begins to come up for level flight, airplane begins to trim itself. We now have flap and gear speed, correction gear and first notch flap speed, which we'll be needing at Walnut. Power setting is 510 to bring us to this very comfortable uh, speed before we get to uh, won't end the final approach fix. We can go with pumps and igniters to manual. And once we get a clearance to land, we'll turn on that landing light. Night out there tonight in Cincinnati. Number two from Sheila. And there's a three zero Romeo Air for one o'clock and one zero miles. When the left turn begins at Sheila, the needle the will cancel out of We'll snap to the new inbound handy and heading. The three zero Romeo I for cancellation receipt, squawk three park. And uh, all will we'll be no right with the world. You in the airport. We'll go down to twenty one with a VS flick at that point. When I say VS flick, I'm talking about lighting the VS light on the autopilot and then flicking the rocker to get a descent going. Doesn't have to be very precise, just something two, more. Two, Sierra Tango, contact one, Contower, 118.7, good day. Over tower, two, Sierra Tango, good night.
Welcome to Tower, good evening. Meridian 992 Sierra Tango is on the R and F 3 right. Meridian 992 Sierra Tango, welcome to R, runway 3 right, clear to land. Clear to land, 3 right, 2 Sierra Tango. I'll pop a golf, turn left at the end, cross nice. runway 2 left. The light is on, we have a clearance. Left at the end, cross 2 5, remain with you in the holding area for one pop golf. Lucka Tower, 992 Sierra Tango. If available, we'd like the 180 back taxi to Waypoint. 2 Sierra Tango, I'll keep you advised. I have a uh, Gulfstream taxi for departure on 3 right, and uh, I'll know more in just a moment. Roger, thanks. 2 Sierra Tango. The course is centered. Well, this is the LNAV plus V. There is no LPV on this approach. So we have higher minimums, about 800 AGL. That has to do with the hills around Lunkin. Uh, the deal here is the weather is good enough tonight that we don't need to mess with minimums. In fact, I can look out the window now and see the, the, uh, the runway, the runway lights and the flashing end lights, the real. The G3000 is so stable and good in this M600 aircraft. It really is a dream to fly. Okay, here comes the the one dot that we so dearly love. So when we're one dot high, we'll put down the gear. Go ahead. Nacho flaps. And without doing another thing, that'll bring us pretty close to the 112 knots we need. But if we need to bring power away, we're prepared to do that. We're looking for 112 in order to get full flaps. Yeah, nice. I could barely feel that change. Nicely done. One pop of turn left on Charlie, cross seven at Charlie. And now the power comes back Stop in because Charlie, of the seven Charlie, pitch angle go. change that the flaps involve. We're looking for 110 out here until we get a little closer. DA is 1280. And we're reminded this glide path is advisory only for the LNAV plus V. With some sort of amazing amusement area out here on the right. Two Sierra Tango, expect back taxi. Roger, thanks. Two Sierra Tango. It's pretty cool. Lots of traffic here tonight as well. Now looking outside, we got the lights in sight. They're right on. For the night landing, everything's identical. The key is to have the seat properly adjusted, your elbow on the armrest, shoulder blades in the back of the seat, hold your head still. That way, movement that you see is definitely the airplane, uh, the, uh, the, <laughs> the airplane, not the runway. Cross three left at Charlie, we will, one pop off. Looking good. I'm going to switch your pulse lights to taxi so that they don't uh, flash off the runway as we get closer. Looking good. Keep three white out here tonight because of the catenaries. Looking good. Here comes that threshold. 
Left thumb on the trim. The Squeeze the smoothly. Going to be right rudder today. As always, other right. Yep, right there. That's all you. That's all you. A little more right rudder. Sweet, right there. Oops. There you go. Let go of the rudder. Yep. Very important. Back pressure brakes and beta. Not Radio overdoing Radio the brakes. 180 and back taxi on the three right exit of Bravo. 180 back taxi three right exit Bravo. Let off the brakes. It's okay. It's okay. So feel how compressed that nose was? So when you were letting go of the yoke, let go of the brakes as well. Nicely done. So what we're looking at out the window is the position of the cowling. Two Sierra Tango, advise when you're off the runway. All right, we'll advise Two Sierra Tango. Is this your turn? Yes. Take your time. The M600 lights are far better than previous models. Not to suggest they're inadequate, but these are more than adequate. Very comfortable night flying. Two here, Tango is clear of the runway. Thank you. And Gulfstream 1, Papa Golf, runway 3 right, cleared for takeoff, right close traffic. Cleared for takeoff, 3 right, right close traffic, uh, 1, Papa Golf. Careful, call him off. Two crosses. Waypoint, Charlie, and Hotel. Waypoint, Charlie, Hotel. Two, sir, Tango, good night. I've got a question for you. I noticed your type aircraft, uh, M, it's a Mike 600. I looked that up, and it's a, uh, is that a new Piper, but you're still a Meridian. How's that work? <laughs> yep, it's a, uh, it's an upgraded, uh, Piper Meridian. 600 horsepower. Okay, thanks. Yes, sir. King of the fleet, Dick Rochford, fly safely, train off it. 